hi all so in this video we are going to talk about what are process variables what are node inputs outputs and activity class parameters what are these so considering about the process variable first of all these all terms whatever we are speaking they are all in the in terms of the process model okay so this is my process model and when we say about variables process variables so here if we go to the properties and here we can find the variable sections so whatever the process variable we can be defined okay for example name is there it is a type of text so process variables are what process variables are the variables which are used in the process models and throughout the journey throughout the process the data lives inside these process variables so uh, if I add any script task name or anything here where that data will get saved in the process model similarly in the uh, if we say like in the interface we used to save the data in our rule inputs the same rule inputs become the process uh, variables when we add them in the process web model okay so if we want save any data into this so let me take an script task okay and in the script task we will name it as let's name it as name okay and now let's go to the properties and data okay and in the uh, th see these are node inputs and outputs so node inputs are like what values it will get input and these are only called activity class parameters and in outputs like how these how the value whatever you have defined here how you will use it or where you will save or what value you will get from there okay or if we don't want anything we can add a new custom output as well for example like I want to save uh, some name right I have defined one parameter uh, let's save like uh, Vikash so I have given it here and I will save it and if you see in the target name is appearing okay right so if I validate it everything is fine and let me run this process once uh, okay let me debug the process for running so this process has now run and if we see in the properties what value we have get we have got Vikas here right because I have already mapped in the process instances uh, okay in the process model the variable is changed to Vikas so these are process and no matter what whatever the uh, data or you can say here user input task or anything for example any activities or anything any sub process whenever you want this process model which are defined here it can be used it can be used throughout the process you can go inside any of their okay in the input output anything there and you can use the drop down to fetch that name which has been defined there okay so enough about the process variables now let's talk about our active activity class parameters which are node inputs so node inputs like which are specific activity class parameters are specific to one script task only if we are defining something here for example like I want to define something like a uh, city okay and city value I will store directly I will store it as suppose city as Delhi right I have stored it as Delhi and now if I want to use that city here in the output how I will use it so I can use the city with the help of AC bank if you write AC bank so you can get the city so to refer the PV bank you use name okay process variable and to refer the activity class parameter city but I don't want the city as it is I want to be saved as uppercase okay let us say like in the uppercase I want to uh, get it saved whatever is the city value I will save in uppercase and where I will save it see you can only save the values inside the process variables uh, okay here so no process variable has been defined as of now so let's create one process variable for the city as well okay so now we will uh, save the city here okay and now it is done so currently like we haven't given any name okay one name is there for the city Delhi was there right yes so city has one value called Delhi already and it is in a uh, simple case okay and now let's publish it and we'll see what are the values now let's debug the process 
okay so now we can see here delhi saved how so delhi is now saved in capital letters and vikas is as it is so and what was the name i have written in name that is as it is so this is was a very simple explanation like what are the uh, process variables process variables can be used throughout let me take another script task and let me access the city here can I access city activity class here or not so if I used uh, go to expression and use it AC bang nothing will come because that activity class parameter is local to that script task only it cannot be used in any other script task or any other nodes but the PV is global it can be used okay it can be used anywhere both city and name are like uh, process variables that i have defined okay pv bank name pv bank city but uh, whatever the things i have defined in this one it can't be used so generally like uh, let's take some more example okay so what i will do is uh, we if you have seen my previous video i have created some expression rule to get the park name okay so with the help of that uh, we are getting all the park name so okay or we can create a new only okay uh, our data store will be the same and let me create a new only so get park name that's it and i will try to get different properties in the activity class parameter uh, that will make it more clear uh, okay so i have used here a bank query and let me use to entity and what is the entity name cons bang ys underscore get or park park name and query okay query will use in a bank query will use the pacing info okay pacing info is done one comma minus one and now we will get all the data for them but we don't want all the data we just want uh, the data part so now we will get all the data list of 12 items are here in my city so i have referenced actually a uh, data table which i already have uh, in case you haven't uh, in case you didn't know about that let me show you that table which table i am actually referring to parks so this is the table i am actually referring to it contains a park name and the city id okay so it me it has given me the data okay so let me just use property here and instead of dot notation we'll remove the dot here fine null so that's much better than so now we have saved our expression here now let's go back uh, this expression will keep script task will keep as it is let's take a new script task and now we have added our script task so we will go to our script task and we will configure the values okay so first of all uh, let's go to the properties and in the data so we have already configured an expression rule to get all the park data okay to get all the park data we have uh, considered that okay so now we will go back to a process and we will add our input here and here let's write it park data and the park data contains all like the park name as well and their city id as well okay and in the type what is the type of the park data so for the type we will go back to ys park uh, name we have to select that type right so why is hmm so here something will be like city park drop down yeah so this was the park and what is the value so these uh, values like let's see like uh, a rule bank why is underscore get park name it will get all the park data okay it will get all the park data let's make we can make it multiple as well and let's write it again rule bang y is underscore get park name that's it so our now activity class parameter is ready now in the park data what we will do get all the park data now we don't want all the park data from here what one by one we will fetch the values first of all we want to fetch is what ac bank uh, park is here dot we want to fetch the park name 
okay so let's add the uh, property function here as well okay so property i have added it here okay and then yes that part is done and then null so that's added so property will park name will get added here and it will get saved in the park name okay so now let's try to save the process publish it and let's save the debug it once again okay so now it has debug let's see so in park name you can see here if we get all the park name here whatever the park name are there chitranjan park lodi garden buddha every name is now coming here right all the park names are now coming here similarly and from where we have got so there is no process variable for the data we are directly getting the park name because the data part was already defined as an activity class parameters okay so let's name this script as like get park name okay get park names and it's the same way we can get the city ids as well so with the data is already here right and from the we will define another activity class parameter here okay so ac bank park data dot city id right and let's uh, make use of property function here okay that is done okay and now null right city id is here and we have to save in the city id so there is nothing for city id so let's make something as city id and it will be type of a uh, uh, integer okay number integer actually come on yeah number integer it will also store the multiple values because a lot of cities ids are also present so let's say uh, save uh, and publish the process model and let's go to the debug the process okay when the process is debugged and now you can see here all the city ids one 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 two 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 three three four so you can see like multiple values are coming here why because in the database multiple values were there we can if you don't want the multiple values you know like uh, uh, i don't want to get the multiple values i just want one two three four not one 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 so we can use something like uh, once we have got the data uh, there is some function called union so union functions does what it combine the two arrays and whatever is duplicate it won't fetch that value so we can do the union of this similarly okay so let's do the union of that and that's more than enough now let's save and publish it and let's debug the process let's see okay it has broke too few parameters okay so union function actually expects two parameter uh, let's see the function i was in a bit <sighs> okay so union function expects two parameter so first parameter we have given them okay array one is this and array two is what array two is also this array only <laughs> with the self array only we will uh, use the uh, union because we don't have uh, two arrays we have only one array in that we want to remove the duplicate values so we can use the same array two times okay now let's save and publish it and let's run the process once again okay let's debug it fine and now you can see here one two three four values are coming duplicate values have been uh, removed this way so that's uh, uh, that was all about the process variable and activity class parameter hope you got a little bit of understanding like how we can use or utilize activity class parameters in the script task or in any notes as well okay so that's all in this video thank you